Oh, he's leaving, leaving on that midnight train. And George is leaving on that midnight train. Woo-hoo, and he's never coming back. Never coming back. Uh, whoa, whoa, Gladys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, I am going back. I'm not staying in Atlanta. That's not going to happen. I'm out. So, those that are new to this channel, I have to inform you that I have a very distaste in my mouth when it comes to Atlanta. You know, um, it's like every time it's mentioned, uh, every time somebody talks about, about Atlanta, it kind of like cringes me. Like it makes me feel all mushy and messed up in the inside because of the experience that I had when I was there. And oftentimes I find myself just reminiscing on when I used to live in Atlanta and just how bad it was and how it affected my family. Affected my family and infected my family. Now I know you punks are gonna say, well, what you mean infected? You got some AIDS or something? No, I'm talking about infected, meaning the, the psychological damage that it do, did to us. It wasn't permanent, but it did something to us. You see, I had to clear this up. I had to because I got tired of people leaving these uh this this they say the same thing in the comment section when I do a video about Atlanta. They say the same thing. Well, you know what? To each his own. And just because you had a bad experience doesn't mean that I'm gonna have a bad bad experience. I'm living a nice life down here. Well, maybe is it you know that that you didn't have a job? Maybe you were broke and you were this and you were that. And they continue to blame it on me, you know, far as the bad experiences that I had in Atlanta. And I can honestly tell you that if you are a certain type of person, right? If you don't care about seeing a bunch of homeless black people, if you don't care about racism, in which I've never heard a black person say, well, I don't care about racism. Clock, hit me over the head, police officer. Pow, pow, ooh, ooh, shoot me in the stomach and kill me, police officer. If you don't care about the violence that comes that, that goes on in Atlanta, black men shooting each other, killing each other almost every day. If you can avoid that, if you can eliminate that, if you could just put on your 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 I don't see racism, I don't see black on black crime, I don't see homelessness, I don't see people without without jobs, especially with this COVID-19 thing. If you could put on no sunglasses. You'll have a good old time in Atlanta. That plain and simple. It's nothing complicated. So for those that say, you better watch out for those uh, people in particular. For those that say, well, it was your experiences, you know, and I just love Atlanta and this and that and so forth. That's because they are a certain type of person that doesn't have a heart that can overlook their own people that's in distress. The reason why my, me and my, fa my family and I had a miserable time because we're caring people. Caring. If I struck the lotto right now, I would try to figure out a way how to help single parents, single mothers out there. I mean, an effective way to help them. Men that were incarcerated for long periods of time that just got out of jail. Young men that need to be schooled on how to be a man and how to treat a woman. Women that are battered, that have been abused and, 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 and raped. 
and they still have that bottled up inside themselves. I know a few women that are like that, that have that got raped them when they were 13, 14, 15 years old. And they still got it bottled up inside them. They still haven't talked about it. I will try to figure out a way how I can effectively change the hearts and the minds of, 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 of people in general. But it just bugs me out on how Atlanta is being depicted. And it's still, it's still like nobody has not like really came out. Like I got a platform. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's, let's cut the BS. I have a platform, but my platform is not big enough to change the hearts and the minds of the people. I can't reach for so many people. But people that have a platform, 300,000, half a million, a million, y'all need to speak up. I don't understand how these celebrities go down, go down to Atlanta and say I have I had a good old time, but I do because they only go to Buckhead. They they are they they are actually in certain areas of of Atlanta. But to a certain point, to a certain extent, when you in Buckhead, like right by the Lennox Mall, you'll see young black kids selling water, bottled water. What are they selling bottled water for? They trying to make a hustle. They trying to get out there and make that money because there's hardly to no uh, programs for children down there. School programs, uh, it's not school programs, but like different programs, do after school programs is what I mean. So get out of here with that. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Let me tell you something. Don't leave none of that BS on my, in my comment section talking about some you were broke, you were this. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. So don't tell me what I was. You probably was one said that this and that so forth, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Go down there to Piedmont Park, around Piedmont Park, and go park party with your people. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Go down there and party with your people where that Rainbow Square is at. And all of y'all people that are from Atlanta know exactly what I'm talking about. Get out of here with that. You have to have a certain type of savage mentality to be down there. If y'all want, if, 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 let me tell you something. I think the, the, the hoods in Atlanta will be like, yo, the, the, that dude right there, I respect him. Because I'm telling the truth. The hoods, yo, you talking about black Atlanta's, oh, it's, it's, black, it's gay people down here, it's this and that, and it's black unity and black. No, 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 no. The dudes down there are savage. They don't play games. You don't, you think you playing you playing games with a dude from Atlanta? You sadly mistaken. Y'all come down here. Y'all come down from New York and Chicago and all these different places, right? And y'all thinking that oh yeah, this is Atlanta soft. No, no, no. They get busy down there, and it's more people migrating. So it's people bumping heads down there, and Atlanta's those Atlanta dudes. They not giving up their hoods, and they not gonna let you talk to them any time any type of way. Period. This dude from New York, I did a video about Takashi 69. I was like, yo, Brooklyn, what, what's up? And I said, yo, the, the dudes from the, from the Dirty South would have handled that a long time ago. This dude going to laugh like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. If Takashi 69 was in Atlanta, he would have been, I'm not going to even go there. It's just that plain and simple. Go to the local news in Atlanta. And you'll see, such and such got shot today. Such and such got shot today. That is an hour long, right? 12 o'clock, hour long, right? I forgot the dude name, the black dude. Fred something, I forgot his name. Hour long, let me tell you something. The weather is roughly about five minutes. What else? There are little stories here and there. Cat fell out of a tree. Um, you know, they talk about the mayor. That's, I say about 20 minutes. 40 minutes of it is just such and such, such got shot, such and such got robbed, such and such got killed, such and such got this and this and that and so forth. Yo, I don't know what to say, man. People have given Atlanta this hype and, 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 and more idiots are migrating down there thinking that they can make it. I'm gonna make it. I got opportunity. I'm gonna go down there. I got five hundred dollars in my pocket. I got a friend that's staying down there. I could live with him. I could be on a budget. I'm gonna make it. 
I'm an actor. I'm going to make it. Yeah, right. You know what you're going to do? You know what you're going to be doing? You're going to be on cast call, right? You're going to be an extra. You know, you're going to make us about $10, $11, $12. If you need me to send you the information like the links, because I got them all on Facebook, on my Facebook page, I, I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. That's all you're going to do. You, you're just going to be an extra. And they're going to treat you like pure T-S-H-I-T. Get over here. Stand right here. Don't say this. Don't say that. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, get your ass over here. Shut up. You might as well just be, you might as well stay at home and just work. And try to find your lane where you where you where you where you were born and raised at. You think you gonna go down to Atlanta just like the other millions of people and make it? You think somebody gonna help you out? You think Atlanta got love? You think I know love? And let me tell you something, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, yo, New York is dear to me. New York is. Don't take your ass down there. Don't take your... I'm telling you, they do not like New Yorkers. They do not... I'm going to repeat it. They do not like people from New York. So when you get down there, you better try real fast and real hard to get a country accent. You better stop saying, yo, what up, be your son? You better go from... Yo, shawty. Yo, shawty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, listen, uh, uh, I'm going to go down there to uh, 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 Linux Mall and, and the Gucci store. And then after that, um, you know, I'm going to go down to Piedmont Park and walk with my children. All right, boss. You better learn your, <laughs> you better learn your dirty South accent quick. They don't like New Yorkers. I'm telling you that right now. You want to take your ass back down there. I'm not back down there. Down there, you can't. Uh, like I said, I'll never drive through Atlanta ever again in my life. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. It's only two places that I'm uh, that I'm going in the South, for real. I live in Charlotte, and I go to Miami. That's it. I, that's my word. I heard about Houston. I might visit Houston. I already visited Dallas, but I was young. So I'll say Houston, Miami, Charlotte. The end. After Charlotte, going further up north, I jump all the way up to Jamaica, Queens, and that's it. The end. Jamaica, Queens. No, Jamaica, Queens, Brooklyn, Harlem, Charlotte, Miami, Houston. The end. I don't mean to disrespect nobody in between, but it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video.